Today we're going to show you how to install Atlas Trackside Lighting, available in HO, N, and Z scales, on your layout. In addition to the light, you're going to need a drill with an appropriate bit, extra wire, wire strippers, electrical tape or soldering iron and heat shrink, an Atlas connector, and a Phillips head screwdriver. You'll also need instructions from the packaging, and if you don't have them for some reason, you can download them from shop.atlasrr.com. To start, mark off the locations on your layout where you're going to install the lights. Then, using your drill, make the necessary holes for installation. Once that is done, carefully feed the wires through the hole and push down the light base firmly until it is seated. If for some reason the hole is too big, you can secure the light with adhesive or fun tack. For each light, you'll need to install the included resistor so that the light doesn't overheat or get damaged. Depending on how far away the connector is from the light, you also need to add wire extensions to reach it. Add the resistor, you can join the wires from the lamp and the resistor with electrical tape, or you can use a soldering iron and heat shrink, which will give you a more secure connection. Next, connect the wires or extensions from the street light to the Atlas connector. The black wires go on the right, the red on the left. Run wires from the left side of the connector to your power source. In this instance, we're using a power pack, so we're hooking them up to the DC side. Other power sources you can use include a 9-volt battery or a 9-volt, 12-volt rated wall board. Everything should be ready to go after this, so flip on the power to the power source and then slide the switches on the connector up to the on position, and the light should come on. For this video, we used both the warm and cool LED lights so you can see the difference between the two. If for some reason the lights don't come on, double check your wiring. If you're using a power pack, try flipping the direction button. If you're using a power pack to control the light, make sure the dial's at zero first. Then you can turn it up until you reach the desired brightness level. That's all there is to it. Now you're ready to light up the night and create all sorts of wonderful scenes on your layout. For more information about the lighting system, visit us at shop.lsrr.com.